Uh, first thing I want to ask you guys is the um, just about your success at home over your three seasons here. I think you guys have only lost nine games at home, and to start off, you know, with four home games, uh, I would assume has to give you a little bit of confidence. But what, what do you think some of that success is attributed to the, uh, playing at home? And maybe Mark can go first. And, and... Yeah, sure. Uh, I think I think coming in even before us, before um, my class came in, um, um, the teams usually play for MSU. Have made this a pretty tough place to play in. Um, obviously, it starts with uh, uh, the energy the fans bring to our game, the students bring to our game, and then um, coach preaches um, how, how, how important home ice is uh, pretty much in all of the sports. So, uh, yeah, we kind of take that too hard, and uh, we, we make this uh, uh, a pretty hard, hard place to play over the past years, and I think it's, it's still one of the tough, toughest places to, um, to play in as a road team. Yeah, and uh, to touch base on that, I mean, clearly the atmosphere is always great in uh, the Civic Center now called, uh, it's been amazing. Uh, you know, we have a first class uh, facility. We get provided with a lot of uh, care and uh, from the university and, you know, we try to take advantage and uh, leave no excuses on the table for when we um, play here. And like uh, Mark said, we try to make it a hard place to play because our, uh, our goal in uh, playoff time is to get as much home ice as possible. So that's kind of what we want to have the atmosphere like uh, regular season in and out and you know I think we've been doing a good job of uh, sustaining that uh, pressure for everybody else coming in the building. Yeah the exhibition game against Mount Royal this past weekend. Um, your thoughts Mark on on uh, how things went against uh, the Cougars a 5-2 win here last Saturday? Yes um, I think it was, it was a really good test for us. Um, obviously, it was a little rusty coming coming in for for the returning guys. I think the freshmen looked good. You can see on the score sheet too. Um, had some some big goals, but um, overall, we had some guys making plays, stepping up. Um, you, you really like to see that. And then, unfortunately, we have got some some guys getting a little banged up. But um, that's just how things are going. But I think it was a really good test of us. It was for sure the, the best Canadian team um, I played in my my four years here. Um, I'm pretty fortunate to 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 win that game because it was a really good test for us. Um, I think, and uh, we took a lot of it, a lot of the um, out of this game. Heading into this weekend now with Arizona State, of course, we're familiar with them having played against Arizona State. And of course, they're coming off a year in which they made their first per uh, appearance in the NCAA tournament. Um, now, your thoughts about uh, facing the Sun Devils here at? Uh, Mankato Civic Center this weekend. Yeah, I mean it's, uh, it's clearly exciting. We um, technically NCAA pairwise we tied them, but uh, they beat us in a shootout in uh, in their home territory. Uh, you know they were a good team, well coached, honest and hard, and you know they're growing every year. Clearly, as you see, uh, they're making progress, making history each year with their program, and uh, it's a good test. They're a NCAA contender, and um, you know it's gonna be a good test early on for us uh, to make us be as honest as possible and try to keep pushing forward through that. Uh, have you guys been, I'm assuming, told about the captains and everything? Yeah, we just, uh, we just found out. Oh, just uh, now. Oh, there yeah. you go. Okay, yeah. perfect. Well, um, knowing that your uh, teammates voted you two as captains, and this is the second year too, correct? Yeah. Uh, yes. How cool is it to know that you know your peers are looking for you to um, guide you, them into a successful season? Um, yeah, it, it means a lot, I think. I think... Um, Every time you get voted captain, it, it, it makes you look really proud and, and, and honored. You know, you, you spend so much time with the, with your teammates, and then um, have those guys elect you as, as a captain. Just um, um, sees, just just it, it means it means a lot for us, um, for sure. But um, it was only us two wearing a C, and then Edwin wearing a, the assistant captain sign. But uh, we have so many captains and former captains and on our team. Um, so many guys taking responsibilities over the it's not only to uh, both of us i think um you know if something goes wrong you can you can blame us um, <laughs> we'll, we'll make the best uh, uh to get it straight but um we have a really good group out there and uh, i think both we can speak for nick too i'm really proud to be captains again yeah. uh i talked to a coach a little bit about this but i think it'd be interesting to get a player's perspective um going into this weekend you guys uh had the tie last year against ASU and then eventually would lose. Is it something where you guys have a chip on your shoulder against this team or is it more so you're excited to get into the season and no matter who it is, you're excited to play? Yeah, I mean, clearly anytime you lose to a team, uh, you want to want to get a little revenge and kind of get back at it to, against them. And uh, fortunately, we get to play them in our own, our own uh, territory this year. I mean, clearly, uh, season opener, home opener, we know it's going to be a packed house. So there's a lot of things to look forward to uh, this weekend and just kind of keep building it as a basement for the whole season and try to get a good start for the first two games.